everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Dandelion and Wishes brought to you. I keep wanting to say Bad Apple Wars, and it's really driving me nuts. Anyways, let's keep going. June 28th. Oh, uh, we spent the day dressing up. Aw, cute. Pressure slightly increased. That's fine, though. Oh, we encountered the orange cat. Uh, let's smile at him. He's smiling back at me, and blushing, apparently. I didn't know cats could blush. I was about to paint something when the orange cat came closer. The orange cat is rolling on the sketchbook. I can't draw. Pressure moderately increased. That's fine. June 29th. Pijang went to school. Stress slightly increased. I decided to study through my business textbook. I opened the book to prepare for tomorrow's class when I got a feeling that someone was staring at me. I turned around to see the spotted rabbit looking right at me. Why? Okay. Today is June 30th. We are very stressed out. Uh. Let's take you to the park. The weather is superb today, Jiwoo. Don't you want to go to the park? He's running away. I'm going to catch you. I managed to drag Jiwoo out. <laughs> I win. Why does he not like to go out? We can have a delicious lunch outside and have fun watching other people. Jiwoo ran towards the tree shade. Move the picnic blanket under the tree shade. Stay where I am. Let's move the picnic blanket. As soon as I tried to move the picnic blanket under the shadow, Jiwoo lied on it. He's not looking at me. But is he pleased? It's difficult to tell. Uh, let's look around, I guess. Ooh, a dandelion. I think that's all I need. Uh, yes. It looked as if it'll rain, so I headed home. Jibu is sleeping in the bag. I guess he's tired, although he did nothing today. I should do some homework when I go home. June is now over. It'll be July starting from tomorrow. The final exam is in July. Summer vacation begins right after that. This month has passed by in a flash. The same classes, club activities, and the cats and the rabbits. Now I'm used to having the company at home. I see the animals as soon as I come back home and open the door. I can also see traces of what they've been up to and where they've been. Whenever I see them, I smile. The cute and affectionate animals. They make me a bit sensitive at times, but they also make me smile. Tomorrow is a new start. I'll have to try and spend more time with the animals next month. It doesn't matter whether I lose sleep or not. I would hate not to be able to spend enough time with them. For the first time in a long time, I had fun. Mm. <laughs> Today is July 1st. Uh, okay, so let's check our status here. What do you want? Okay, so your art skill is satisfied, you're fine. So I need to work on beauty and femininity. All right, so we're gonna stay home today. Beauty and femininity. Okay, well I can't do anything in here. Oh, oh, I can touch this. Oh, I can't actually do anything with that though. Can't do that. I can take a bubble bath. We encountered the orange cat. Uh, let's stare at him. He likes that. You're such a cute cat. Jian came in the bathroom while I was taking a bubble bath. Jian knocked over the shampoo bottle. Thank God it didn't land on you. Be careful. Uh, stress greatly decreased, which is good. Femininity and beauty increased. Okay, so we went to school. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna relax, maybe. Take a rest. I'm tired, maybe I should take a rest. Hmm, breathing is also a form of exercise. I'm going to have to breathe hard. Stress greatly decreased, pressure slightly increased. Okay, it's fine. Day's over. July 3rd. Okay, my stress is much further down now, which is good. So we can go ahead and watch the educational channel. Spotted rabbit. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pat you right here because you'd like that. Jiwoo is so cute. I watched an education program with Jiwoo. Jiwoo is sitting motionless like a statue while watching the TV. He seems more focused than I am. Okay, went to school. Um. We're gonna take a bath again. Should I take a bubble bath? I went into the bathroom. The orange cat is sleeping inside the tub. Why is he sleeping in here? Okay, so my femininity has gone up and my beauty has increased. That's good. Oh, we spent the day drawing at home. Pressure slightly increased. Why is the spotted rabbit always alone? Jiwoo, that's the bane that I gave him. I think that's supposed to be the name that I gave him? I thought rabbits didn't like to be alone, but I guess Jiwoo is an exception. He isn't too keen on mingling with the rest. Does he prefer his own company, or is he just not used to the company of others? Jiwoo is just an average sized rabbit. Not too small and not too big. His brown spots are especially charming. But it doesn't look like he wants to become friends with anyone. Not even me. He always ignores me. Julia, Julia! I called his name and reached out to pet him, but as always, Jiwoo ran off to the corner. <laughs> I gently lifted Jiwoo up into the air. I grabbed him firmly so that he couldn't he wouldn't wiggle. He was still pretty agitated. Good boy, Jiwoo, good boy. Try to calm down. I started stroking his fur very lightly. Ah, he's so soft. He's really cute. I wonder why he was always so isolated. Maybe it's because he's going through puberty? Do rabbits go through that, though? As I stroked Jiwoo's fur, I noticed an ominous glint in his eyes. Should I stop hunching him? Still, he doesn't seem to dislike it. Confident enough that all is good, I continue to pet Jiwoo. How can he be so cute? His little eyes, his nose and mouth, and his whiskers. And what's this? Th this is... Yeah. His pink paw. This is the cutest paw I've ever seen. How soft it is. And it's baby pink, irresistibly cute. I started rubbing Jiwoo's paws. I didn't know rabbit paws were this soft and tender. Grabbing him firmly in one hand so that we wouldn't run away, I pressed his paws to my other hand. Press, press. Huh? 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 What's wrong? Jiwoo suddenly felt twice heavier. <coughs> his four legs went limp. D did he faint? Ah, oh, no. It's okay, he was just shocked. Is his heart beating? Thank God it is. What do I do? Should I take him to the vet? I hurriedly laid Jiwoo down on the sofa. I could see his eyes opening slightly. <laughs> Wait, I think he muttered something. Of course rabbits can't talk. I must be tired again. It was a surprise that he so suddenly passed out. Still though, today I discovered Jiwoo's biggest charm. Hee <laughs> hee. 9 out of 16. Alright, it's pretty good. Spotted rabbit. Ooh, I can throw bait. Ah, he likes that. Ah, did he just look at the carrots and smile? I watched an education program with Jiwoo. The way his ears are perked up is so cute. Does he really understand what the TV says? Hey, okay, art skills increased, stress moderately increased, pressure greatly decreased. It's fine. 
Day is over. She take a rest. Have a fresh start tomorrow. <laughs> Tokia, 발바닥 괜찮아? 저리가 바보 고양이. 꺼져버려. 다 꺼지라고. He's so mad. 난 위로해 주려고 한 건데 필요 없어. 사이코 주인 같으니. 다음에 또 그러면 확 물어버릴 거야. 어이, 거기 건방진 토끼. 밥 주인을 상처 입히는 건 규칙 위반이라고. 누나한테 그러지 마. 사랑받으면 좋지 뭐. <웃음> 에디, 고양이들 너무 시끄러워. 쉿. 고양이는 원래 그런 동물이에요. 쉿은 무슨? 너희 종족 차별할래? 저기 있는 토끼가 제일 시끄럽거든. 그러고 보니 벌써 한 달이나 지났어 형. 하, 진짜 그러네. 갑자기 시간이 빨리 가는 것 같지 않냐? 선택받는 시기는 아직 오지 않았어. 조급해하면 안 돼. 맞는 말씀입니다. 저렇게 바쁜 사람인 줄 누가 알았어? 난 백수 팬인 줄 알았는데. 그놈 취향이라길래. 생각보다 주인 누나랑 같이 있는 시간이 적어서 외로워 형. 그래도 밥은 잘 주니까 다행이지. 바보 주인. 없는 편이 나. 진짜 짜증나. 넌 뭐든 다 짜증내잖아. 시끄러. 형. 저 토끼는 세상이 다 삐뚤게 보이나 봐. 저 토끼가 사는 세상은 아무라고 어둡기만 할걸? 냅둬. 평생 저러고 살게. 불쌍해. 그래도 튕기니까 주인 누나가 다가오잖아. <웃음> 발바닥도 눌러주고 <웃음> 아 저것들이 진짜 우리도 튕겨볼까? 그건 좀 근데 내 예상하고는 너무 다른 사람이었어 난 완전 뒤틀린 자폐아일 줄 알았는데 그 녀석 의외로 정상인을 골랐잖아 <웃음> 대신 바보잖아 단정 지으면 안돼 왜? 네가 보기엔 밥주인이 이상해? 그녀에겐 깊은 슬픔이 숨겨져 있어 음, 왠지 나도 그렇게 느껴져 그래도 밝게 살려고 노력하잖아 그건 그렇지만 어딘가 많이 불안정해 저 녀석은 그냥 멍청한 바보야 일단은 제대로 된 자아를 찾는 게 시급하다고 음, 토끼 네 말도 일리가 있어 토끼라 부르지 마 그래도 게임 참가자 치고는 너무 평범한 느낌이야 마술쟁이 녀석 잘못 치는 거 아니야? 그럴 리는 없을 거라 생각합니다 응 음, 그는 치밀하니까 나도 그렇게 생각해 분명 꿍꿍이가 있을 거야 아직 한 달밖에 안 됐으니까 더 지켜보는 수밖에 치, 난 이렇게 있는 거 이제 단물이 난단 말이야 신물이 나겠지 멍청아 알게 뭐야? 그래도 난 귀여우니까 괜찮아. 누구처럼 예쁜 발바닥은 없지만. 고양이 너이 만다물래? 쟤네 너무 시끄러워, 에디. <웃음> July 6th. We went to school. Our stress has increased. But we're doing okay. Let's go to the bathroom, I guess. We're almost there. 12 out of 16. All right, I want to double check, make sure that this is still fine. So our art skill is still satisfied. We're good with this, so. And it's going to continue raising, but we need to up our femininity and stuff. All I can do for that is take a bath. Should I take a bath? I went into the bath. Seems the orange cat loves the bubbles. It's so adorable to watch him pop the bubbles every time he takes a bath. Uh, okay, so, ooh, we are doing well with Gion as well. Ooh, 10 out of 29, 12 out of 16. All right, we're going to go out, we're going to take you with us, and we're going to go to the beach. Should I go to the beach? I grabbed Jiwoo, who was desperately trying to run away from me. His eyes seem to say that he doesn't want to go. You don't want to go? But you'll change your mind once you've heard the sound of the waves. I'm positive. Jiwoo is staring at my sunblock. Do you want to put it on? Why do you... Why do I get the feeling that he's reading the words on the sunblock bottle? Haha. <laughs> the bottle is full of difficult English words. 
UVA, blah, blah. He really looks as if he's reading it. Uh, we don't own a bikini. We're gonna look around, though. Uh, there's some shells here. And another seashell. I have to... I don't want to grab thing things. Eh, three thing. Dust found. Fine. Jiwoo and I played hide-and-seek on the beach until we both became tired. It's like being overly excited. Whenever I see Jiwoo, I just want to catch him. Let's go home and take a bath and then relax. Um, we'll stay home. And we'll keep working on our beauty. Blue on the foam to make bubbles. I used to do this quite often when I was younger. Femininity and beauty have increased. Okay, went to school. Oh, I'm almost there, so that's good. Uh, so let's try for you. Oh, it's a clover, how cute. Aw, Jiwoo brought you the clover. Did you bring it for me? How thoughtful. Cute. The final exam period is already next week. After the exams, we will finally be on the holidays. During the holidays, I have to go to cram school, work out, and participate in club activities. And I should also pay mom a visit. I haven't been going up to Seoul more than once or twice a year. Right now, I really don't want to think about it. My head goes blank when I think about mom. It's already been several months since we last met. I'm afraid of seeing mom. How am I supposed to react to mom's words? How should I answer them? What can I do to not get hurt? Thinking about those things makes me reluctant to call her. I heard something fall down on the floor of the living room. Oh, what happened? Did the animals get hurt? Feeling a rush of anxiety, I ran into the living room. Ah, uh, this is... Oh no. The living room was an absolute mess. Books from the bookshelf were scattered all over the place. Two of the books had clear scratch marks on them. The orange cat jumping all- the orange cat's jumping all over the books. Jian is rubbing his face on an art book that cost me over two hundred dollars. I'm busy enough already and now even the animals are giving me trouble. My head began to throb. But they never caused any trouble before. I have no time to think about the animals during the exam period. Giving them food and time is the most that I can do. I have to clean up the books, but I really don't feel like it. I don't feel like cleaning up. Everything is a mess. Just like myself. I buried my head in my hands. I'm getting a headache. I have so much to do, but so little time. And things are not going the way that I had planned. I don't have the will to do anything. I don't even have the energy to pick up the books. I let myself fall down to the floor. I lowered my head. I have to get up and move, but I can't. <sighs> I felt something touching my elbow. Licking sound. Gian is licking my elbow. He licked harder as I began to show some reaction. Lick, lick. <laughs> Despite the adverse circumstances, he made me laugh. He looks just so cute. Aw. When I looked at him with a smile, ji stopped licking and jumped onto my lap. He sat on my lap and looked at me with his big, adorable eyes. His eyes were slightly slanted downwards. His face seemed to say I'm sorry. I was starting to forget about all of my troubles. He expresses his emotions so transparently. When he's joyful, when he's happy, he shows it. And when he's sorry, he apologizes. I could feel his innocence, which made me smile. I stroked Jian's fur. Such a pretty orange color. Jian closed his eyes, as if from enjoyment. Yes. Who cares if things get a bit messy? Who cares if I'm a bit anxious? It's not a big deal. I can just clean up when I have the energy to do so. And as for mom, if I master up my courage and approach her with honesty as Jian did, 
Will she be able to understand how I feel? I hope so. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.